How's it going everyone? This is Tom with RedmanPie.com. I'm sure we're all aware that Android is a fantastic operating system. However, Android manufacturers overlay some not so fantastic software such as TouchWiz and HTC Sense. It might be liking to some people, but a lot of people just want stock Android. So in this video, we're going to be covering how to get stock Android feel on a manufactured skin device. This is purely going to be accomplished with uh, Google Play apps. So you don't need to be rooted or anything like that. And let's just jump straight in. As you can see, this is my HTC One running Sense 5, but it looks very similar to stock Android. So as you can see, I've got a lock screen customization on here, uh, and that's what we're going to be talking about first. It's called Widget Locker. And I picked this because it looks very, very much like the stock Android locker. And there's a ton of customization. You can customize a hell of a lot with this t this uh, package, actually. You simply just go into the settings of Widget Locker and you can change things such as uh, the screen timeout on the lock screen, uh, whether you want a passcode or not. You can even change... Uh, what apps it launches and stuff like that. If you're wanting a lock screen very similar to the stock Android lock screen, this is without a doubt one to check out. Next up we have a launcher, and in this one I'm using a Nova Launcher. I find that it's really good, there's a ton of customization available. This is the premium version of Nova Launcher, I have paid for the extra features, uh, such as allowing dock swipes to go to custom actions and things like that. To be honest, the launcher is the most important thing of this setup. Uh, I'm going to be showing you Apex Launcher in a little while, uh, and to be honest, the launcher is very important that you actually get a good one. I would suggest uh, either Apex Launcher or Nova Launcher. Uh, it's just great for customization, you can change a lot of the settings and things like that. One of my favourite things about uh, Nova Launcher is the amount of customizations you can actually have on the home screens uh, and also on your transitions. You can transi change the transition animation uh, for almost all aspects of it, you can have multiple docks and stuff which just stock Android manufacturer skins just don't allow. Also of course you'll need a launcher to install custom uh, icon sets which are a huge part of Android in general. Okay so now let's cover off the animated wallpaper I'm using. This is called uh, Nexus 4 Dots if my mind remembers correctly uh, and it's essentially just the live wallpaper that you get if you purchase the Nexus 4. It's available on the Play Store for free as you can see it's just Nexus 4 Dot. Uh, that's the app. It'll be in the Play Store uh, I'll have links and stuff and information regarding all of these things on the post on redmopie.com as always. And also you can see uh, that you get links to the Jelly Bean uh, lock, animated lock screen, uh, excuse me, animated wallpaper. So there's a ton of customization there to choose from as well. Okay, so now let's move on to uh, keyboard and the Google keyboard is actually just available to download. Uh, in the Play Store and you can just install it. It's a simple download uh, and you just install it just the same as you would something like SwiftKey. Uh, this is just the stock Android keyboard so it's the obvious one that we're going to go with. You can see that you get the swipe gestures that were implemented within Android 4.2 I believe. Uh, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong about that. But I absolutely love this keyboard and it's a no-brainer for this. Okay, now just moving on to some quick alternatives that you could use. Uh, you could use Holo Locker instead of Widget Locker. And as you can see, uh, this is, to be honest, I prefer this lock screen in all honesty. Um, it just looks a little bit cleaner, a little bit more like the Android 4.2 lock screen. Uh, and as you can see, you get this kind of little wave effect as you move around the lock. Uh, and you can access your camera and your unlock and also Google Nile directly from the locker itself. And then instead of uh, Nova Launcher, you could use Apex Launcher. This is a very popular launcher. I personally prefer Nova, uh, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's better. Apex is definitely useful for certain things. For certain setups, you may use, need to use uh, different things for certain icon sets, stuff like that. Uh, both of them are extremely customizable. Maybe you'll just decide, uh, play around with the free versions of both, and maybe if you want to buy one, choose the one which you're enjoying most. You can do gestures and stuff like that on both of them. This is definitely a really good launcher to go with as well. There we have it guys, there's a little guide as to how to get uh, your Android manufacturer skin looking and feeling a little bit more like stock Android. It's definitely a personal thing, you need to play around with your setup to get what works for you. Hopefully with a combination of all of these packages you'll come up with something looking really special. If you have enjoyed or found this video helpful, please drop a little like, it really helps out the channel. Be sure to follow Redmond Pie on all of the social places, those are down below as well. Follow myself as well on Twitter, that link is down below as well. And I will catch you next time.